What is going on everybody? This is Eric here with another Lost Production. So, um, I created a video about six or seven months ago on how to create a sub account and due to several updates they have changed the wording and kind of the process of doing it, but kind of not. So we're here to show you how to uh, make a Smurf account, um, but basically... Um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open this and turn this one off. This That screen's there, there to hide passwords and anything when I start entering stuff in. But anyways, so as you can see, I've now created a Smurf account with the uh, Beard Theory, which is my Xbox name, but I went ahead and made a PlayStation account with the Beard Theory. And he still thinks it's a new account. And it's got PlayStation Plus. I had uh, Rainbow Six Siege uploaded just to kind of show that the PlayStation Plus worked with it without buying extra PlayStation Plus. So basically, the only thing you're gonna need to do is, we're gonna go ahead and close this application. Uh, you need one main account on your system. All right, one main account. Let me go here and switch user. Now, we got AOP Gaming, another Lost Production, and then we got this account here. Uh, this is my main account right here. So basically what you want to do is you're going to go into parental controls and family management. But before, before we start there, make sure, go to your account and make sure to activate this PlayStation, or this PlayStation. It has to be on the PlayStation that you make the Smurf account with. Now, if you make a Smurf account on this PlayStation, uh, you can log in uh, on another PlayStation, but you have to know your... Uh, main account information here so basically uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit activate you're going to activate your PS4 this one's already activated but boom so uh, you hit activate it'll activate it takes a few seconds not long uh, so basically once you hit that then you're going to want to go down to parental controls and family management now this is where they changed the whole system this is where they changed how they've done it which um it's really not any different so we're going to go down and we will go to here which is there and we are going to turn that off so y'all can't see the password because safety first all right so we entered a password. Make sure I entered it right before I turned the. All right. So we turned we we bah, 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 bah. we turned the password on, and it takes us here. Now you see family management, and you'll see multiple Smurf accounts here. All right. So then you're gonna add a family member. All right. So you're gonna add this family member. So you can choose a friend. Uh, select a friend who you want to add as a family. You can add a friend as a family member uh, and whatnot, but we're not going to do that. We're going to create a user. You want your own Smurf account. You want to be able to go into Siege looking like a noob and just wreck face, or you want to, you know, uh, a Smurf for your Overwatch or a Smurf for whatever you want to Smurf for. Um, I don't judge. I Smurf on Siege. So, anyways, you go to create user. So here you'll create a name and we'll name this one how to. Oh, it won't let you put spaces in there. Okay, so we'll name this one how to and we'll give him the birthday of what's today? We'll give him one or no, it's it's the second month. It's February, isn't it? And today is the fourth. But you're gonna want to make him under 18 or her. You wanna make it under 18. So we'll just go to 2002. It's a good year, right? So boom. So we we make this. You're gonna hit accept. You agree to the Earth controls. Now here is where you want to set all this up. All right. So you got age of level of games. This one's 19 to 17, so they can play mature. Uh, but I just go ahead and set it up uh, as seven. You know, level 10. You know, you just go ahead and set it all on there, or you can just go to all allow. Uh, uh, I went to age 11 or level 11. Uh, you just hit allow all. That way there's no restrictions for this account. Uh, the same with the Blu-ray. You're going to want to make sure you don't want any restrictions on that one. Uh, or if you do, it doesn't matter. I mean, 
uh, allow how to to join the PlayStation Network. You're going to say allow. Now, this is how to joining your PlayStation, uh, your PSN. You do not need to buy a separate PSN account for how to. But here's where you get to set up if you get to communicate with other players, if you communicate. Uh, let people, you know, view the car created content by this player if you want to use it for streaming. And then you get to set its, his or her monthly spending limit. I keep this at zero. Uh, that way all purchases have to go through the main account and then it could just be downloaded to the Smurf account. Or if, if you download it to your main account, it's already on the Smurf account. And I'll show you that here momentarily. So we're going to set the monthly spending uh, limit to zero because... Well, there's no reason for the smart to have a wallet. So, uh, if you add how to, blah, 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 blah. We'll delete them here in a minute, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept this. And basically what you're going to want to do, now we have how to. So, now how to users on this PS4. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to switch user. And you're going to want to go to how to, to go ahead and set all this up. So first things first, you're going to want to create a, a Yahoo account or a Gmail, or if you already have an email account that's not linked to video games. Um, so I actually, I don't know if I have one that's not linked to something from previous videos or other Smurfs. So I'm going to go to Gmail and I'm going to add an account um, and I'm going to create a separate Gmail account. Why am I creating a separate Gmail account? It's just so we can do this. So we're going to do uh, Eric, and then we're just going to go ahead and autofill all that. And we're going to name this one how to video at gmail.com. And there we go. So now we got how to video. We'll name it YT how to video because apparently. Uh, how to video at gmail.com is already taken who would have known right so we're gonna go how to video uh, yt how to vid video on uh, gmail.com which that one exists so we're just gonna go ahead and I'll create a password and make sure I don't have all this stuff showing up okay I do not <laughs> be kind of be kind of bad right All right, and then of course you do the birthday, which my actually birthday is in October 2nd. So I'm just gonna pop that in and then you have to pop in all this, boom, boom, boom. All right, so now we actually have how to video and you just scroll down and you type in agreed. The reason you need an email account and I'll show you why here in a second uh, is because here in a second, it's going to ask you um, for a sign-in email address. So we just did YT uh, how to video. Okay, so we just created this account at gmail.com. So this way, uh, you'll have an email uh, because it'll, it'll ask you to confirm your stuff. Now you have to create a password for this account, which you can just create, you can put in the same password as your main account, that way you keep up with it. It's what I do, um, just because it's a Smurf account and I like to try to keep up with it. Boom, boom, and you have to verify it. To type it in twice okay so now we've got our password verified next thing you're going to want to do all right so once you verify your password and you can choose if you want uh to receive news you don't actually have to say yes to it it's not required uh, or you don't even have to share your playstation partners marketing purposes so you can go ahead and skip that so you don't receive a bunch of junk mail now you get to choose your avatar well i want this little robot dude because robots are here to help right all right so now you get to choose an online so now we're going to name this one yt how to vid i swear to god this one's taken i'm going to laugh so now we got to have this gamer tag yt how to video 
Uh, and I said how video. So you got to kind of double check yourself there. All right, so now we got YT how to video, uh, which is there. And boom, so we want to name this one uh, tube. Sure. So anyways, uh, so now we got how to, and we, we can actually change our last name to video. That way if somebody looks us up, it's how to video. Ha ha ha. So anyways, and so now we have our online ID of YT how video. So then you're going to hit next. Uh, this is where you can set up all your PlayStation Network, who can see your activities, who can see your trophies, who can see your games, who can see your online, the whole nine yards. Who can send you messages, who can send you friend requests. If you don't want to sit, receive messages from people, hit no one. If you want to sit for just friends only, do friends only. Uh, you can be changed back at any time in your settings menus. Uh, if you decided that, oh man, now, you know, it's kind of a pain. I want to receive messages from people that I want to talk smack to or whatever. So, um, so there you have that. Now you can see who sees your public profile picture, uh, you know, off console availability, friends, follows lists, so on and so on. I just leave all this natural. Uh, I leave it all open because, you know, doing YouTube, I have a lot of people contacting me. So now you have your account created. So now it's going to talk to you like it's a brand new account with PlayStation Plus already available. Um, so this is what I was talking about. You have to verify your email. It will send you one to the email of your choice. Boom. I see mine. So all you do is hit the verify now right under the PlayStation. Once you hit verified now, you hit already verified on this end. It will double check that it linked. Bam. I'm verified. And here we go. So now... Uh, it says step two, you can do a two-step verification. I'm not worried about this. This account's not going to be used for anything but how-to videos uh, within gaming. So actually, it's going to help out a lot. So anyways, so now we have Y2 how-to videos. And as you can see, every game that is on the main account is on the Smurf account already. You want to download a game, then you'll have to go ahead and hold down your PlayStation button. And of course, it'll talk to you like it's brand new. And you'll have to go to switch user and go back to your uh, your actual user, your main account user, to download games. You cannot download games from the store uh, without permission of the main account. So everything has to be done on the main account to go to your Smurf account. So uh, just uh, what what game do we'll just we'll just go ahead and hit Siege. Boom. So now we have Siege and no PlayStation Plus required. You can link it all to your your existing Ubisoft accounts or you can make your new Ubisoft accounts for each Smurf account you want. I like to keep all my Smurf accounts on the same uh, account. That way I can see status and all that stuff between accounts. So anyways, that is how you create a Smurf account uh, here uh, updated for 2018. Uh, they changed some wording, but they've actually made it simpler. Uh, it's a lot less hoop jumping, I guess. Uh, I mean, so, but that's how you do it. So that's all there is to it. And now you have yourself a Smurf account. We're just going to go ahead and upload this. Uh, it's not going to pop up that you need PlayStation Plus or anything. It's actually going to go through uh, due to age restrictions. Say I messed that up, but don't worry about that. Anyways, um, okay, so added note. So, all right, so as you saw, the how-to video did not work on Siege because it had the filtering content on. So we turned the filtering content off. That's where we messed up off. I didn't see that. So how to do that? Well, you log into your main account, your actual main account. All right, then you go to settings, and then we go down to family control management. Now, it's going to ask for a password, so you know what that means. We're going to have to block that. So, uh, well, actually, it didn't ask for a password. All right, so you're going to click on which user you want to fix. So, there's YT how to video. And then it'll ask for a password. So then you type in this password. Yeah, because it was really kind of weird because it didn't work. And I was like, why did it work? Uh, boom. All right. So then we added the password in. All right. So then you come down here and we had everything allowed, but I overlooked the age filtering for online content. 
So it says for sure catalyst to online feature games to hide content. So so then we click this off, right? So now it's off. Everything else is allowed. Just double check in to make sure that there's no more uh, hiccups. So I do apologize for that. But now we'll go to the actual how-to video. So you can make them 15 or whatever, but you have to make sure to hit that. So that's where I messed up at. So we'll go to YT how-to video, and we're gonna upload Siege. This is the one that y'all saw where I had the, the epic fail moment. So I wanted to correct it, because I knew, I knew it was possible, but I didn't realize, I didn't see that small word there that said uh, the age content filter, because I figured when I hit allowed all, it went on. And I guess for some reason, because my other account was 17 years old, it was automatically off but for some reason uh age 15 account or 16 or however old this account is 15 or 16 it uh automatically assumed hey you can't play this game so we're gonna click that off so make sure to read all the fine print uh i, I skimmed through it uh because i thought it was old enough to play the game but as you can see uh now the the message is popping up that i'm not old enough to play this game because i went to the main account and opened up the family account, scrolled down to the Smurf account I wanted, and clicked the online content blocker off. If it is on, you can't play Siege, and I'm pretty sure you won't be able to play any M-rated uh, titles. I don't even know if Siege is M-rated or if it is... Yeah, it's M-rated, so you won't be able to play M-rated. So, uh, if you had like the pass and all this stuff, it's not going to share the the season passes unfortunately but as you can see now i can i can play it'll say hey connect to the ubisoft club uh so we will connect this to the ubisoft club gotta type in a password real quick uh because you don't share passwords anyways so we'll knock that out real quick there we go and it gives you every content available within the uh ubisoft club available to to buy with your in-game currency uh that your other accounts have access to. So, I do like that. Uh, it does offer all of that. So, boom, as you can see now, I can now play Rainbow Six Siege on the YT how-to video because I forgot to change the age restriction on the, the family member. But, I mean, everybody hiccups, everybody messes up, but I just wanted to go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, I wanted to upgrade that and show y'all that's how y'all fix it. You go to settings, you go to family management. Once you hit the password in once, I don't think it's going to ask for it again. So yeah, just make sure age filtering for online content is off and then you won't have any issues. So thank y'all so much and have a wonderful day, a wonderful night and Godspeed.